Hello friends in today's video we are going to learn about how to manage a case of type 2 diabetes mellitus with the medicine uh, this lecture is based on the latest ADA guidelines American Diabetic Association guidelines now when to start the diabetes medicine as per the latest guideline it is based on the hba1c value if hba1c value is less than 7 there is no requirement of oha or the oral hypoglycemic agent if hba1c value is between 7 to 8.5 then we can use the single agent oha if the hba1c value is between 8.5 to 10 then we have to use the dual agent oha and if it is more than 10 then we have to go for the insulin plus the oha or the triple therapy oral hypoglycemic agent now we will discuss about each in detail if the hba1c value is between 7 to 8.5 then we should go for the single agent monotherapy we have to start with the tablet metformin if the serum creatinine value is the normal the dose should be 500 mg once in a day we should go for the assessment with the fbs and pp2bs after 2 to 4 week if it is not still control then we can increase the dose from the 500 mg once in a day to the 500 mg twice in a day bd then we have to reassess for the fbs and pp to bs after 2 to 4 week if it is still not control then we can increase the maximum dose up to the 1000 mg bd two times a day so the maximum dose of metformin is between the 2000 to 2500 mg some brands available for the metformin is glycomat obimat forson you can use any of the brands nearby available to the your clinic now if the hba1c value is between 8.5 to 10 then you can go for the dual agent oral hypoglycemic agent or patient sugar value is not controlled with the single agent oha then also you should go for the dual agent oha you have to add another oha with the tablet metformin you can add from the group dpp for inhibitor the group dpp for inhibitor includes the medicine sitagliptin and the vildagliptin you can use the uh, another uh, group which is known as a sulfonyl urea which include glimepiride gliclazide glipizide etc drugs you can use the another group sglt inhibitor which includes dapagliflozin and the empagliflozin so example of the brands available for the dual agent oha is for the metformin and dpp4 inhibitor like sitagliptin the brands available are sitasan m istamat chanomat etc for the metformin plus vildagliptin which is also a dpp4 inhibitor group the brands available are vilasan m or the vilact m for the uh, metformin plus glimepiride which is sulfonyl urea you can use the brands like glimisan m1 m2 m3 or the glycomat gp1 glycomat gp2 gp3 you can use the glimistar m1 m2 m3 this includes the metformin 500 mg plus glimepiride 1 mg 2 mg or 3 mg as for the suffix you can also go for the metformin plus dapagliflozin which is the sglt inhibitor the brands available are the digisan m or the dapabite m this is all about the dual therapy of oha when the hba1c value is between 8.5 to 10 if the patient's hba1c value is between the uh, uh, is more than 10 or the sugar value is not controlled with the dual oral hypoglycemic agent then you have to add the trip third agent like if the patient already on the metformin plus dpp4 inhibitor like sitagliptin or vildagliptin then you have to add the third agent which is from the either from the group of sulfonyl urea or the from the 
एस जी एल टी इनिमीटर और द पायोग्लिटाजोन नाउ यू हैव टू रिमेंबर वन थिंग द सल्फोनाइल यूरिया ग्रुप लाइक ग्लिमिपेराइड ग्लिपिजाइड और ग्लिक्लाजाइड इज अ पोटेंट ओरल हाइपोग्लाइसेमिक एजेंट इट इज अ चीपर बट द साइड इफेक्ट इज इट इज लीड्स टू द सिग्निफिकेंट हाइपोग्लाइसेमिया सो यू शुड अवॉइड द सल्फोनाइल यूरिया इन योर पेशेंट if patient is undergoing recurrent hypoglycemia uh, you can also add the pioglitazone the dose should be 15 mg or the 13 mg once or twice in a day uh, the the side effect of the pioglitazone is the weight gain so you should add the pioglitazone only if your patient is lean and thin or your patient wants to gain the weight for the obese patient ideally you should avoid the pioglitazone because the side effect is the weight gain for the sglt inhibitor it is a weight neutral if your patient is already on the metformin plus sulfonyl urea means metformin plus glimepiride glipizide or gliclazide then you can add the sglt inhibitor dpp4 inhibitor or the pioglitazone Uh, the advantage for the dpp4 inhibitor it is a weight neutral plus it is safe for the renal and the cardiac patient so this is about the triple therapy oha certain special condition you should uh, uh, you should know like uh, uh, your patient's fbs is in control but if there is only post prandial hyperglycemia PPB, uh, PP2BS is not controlled. Then you can add Acarbos or Voglibos in your patient. The brands available are Glucobe for the Acarbos and the Voglison for the Voglibos. Now some another special condition like if your diabetic patient having a ischemic heart disease (MI) or stroke, then the safer. Uh, oral hypoglycemic agent is the sglt inhibitor group which include dapagliflozin ampagliflozin if your patient having a low ejection fraction patient having a heart failure then also sglt inhibitor is the safest and good drug if your patient is ckd then also sglt inhibitor like dapagliflozin or the ampagliflozin is the safer and the good drug if your patient is the obese then for the weight loss you should use semaglutide it is a costlier drug but if your patient is affordable and the obese then you can go for the semaglutide uh the example if the if uh, you are in opd and the patient come with the uh, high sugar value they, then you can start gradually with the plain metformin the brands are like forsan or the glycomet which includes the only plain metformin you can go for the 500 mg once or in a day or the twice in a day or tds three times a day if it is still not controlled then you can uh, add on therapy like glimison m1 or m2 which include metformin plus glimepiride if it is still not controlled then you can use triple therapy like glimison mp1 or mp2 which include glimepiride metformin and the pioglitazone this is all about the uh, management of uh, diabetes with the uh, uh, oral oral hypoglycemic agent thank you